now we'll uh, categorize the system into stable or causal system depending upon the uh, behavior of impulse response that is h of n right and its z transform h of z which is called system function system function or it is also called as transfer function right and h of z is given by you already know the z transform of output divided by z transform of input now we already know that uh, uh, for a system to be causal h of n should be zero for n less than zero right that means my h of n should not have waveform its waveform it, it can have waveforms here but it should not have waveforms in this space that is for n less than 0 it should it should be 0 alternatively h of n has um, what is the meaning of this h of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 that means h of n is right sided sequence right sided sequence so what is the meaning of a right sided sequence it it means that ROC is outside the outermost pole right so we know that if a sequence is right sided sequence the ROC will be outside the outermost pole the pole may be with uh, pole may be half or one uh, with the you will have a circle of radius one or half and the ROC will be outside the outermost pole so that is a condition for a uh, system to be causal. Now we know that a system is stable if summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity modulus of h of k is less than infinity. What do you mean by this is the summation of h of n that means uh, h of n is absolutely summable that means it is having a value which is less than infinity alternatively we can say that if a causal system is a causal system is stable if poles of h of z lie inside the unit circle in z plane right if poles lie inside the unit circle in z plane then the causal system is is stable so finally for a system to be both stable and causal both stable and causal the necessary and sufficient condition is ROC must include unit circle and ROC must be outside the outermost pole. Or we can say that a system is both stable and causal if all the poles lie inside the unit circle if all the poles lie inside the unit circle then the system is said to be stable both stable and causal see a system is said to be both stable and causal if, RO, if ROC includes unit circle and ROC is outside the outermost pole right so if all the, the oh, what is the alternative meaning of it if all the poles lie inside the unit circle then the system is stable and causal so this is the uh, understanding of um, causality and the stability when it comes to uh, the z transform by using uh, transfer function 
or it is also called as a system function right so for a system to be causal roc must be outside the outermost pole and for a system to be stable it is uh, the summation of uh, h of n is finite that means it should be absolutely summable so what does it mean is all the poles should lie inside the unit circle in z plane right then the system is causal and stable if all the poles lie inside the unit circle then it is both stable and causal or if roc includes the unit circle and roc is outside the outermost pole then also it is both stable and causal we'll solve some problems so that you'll come to know about this now you are given with uh, a system function or transfer function uh, which is 2z plus 1 divided by z square plus z minus 5 by 16 right it's 5 so we need to check whether the system is causal and stable right so it, the system will be causal and stable if all the poles lie inside the unit circle so in order to find the poles i need to factorize this 2z plus 1 the denominator factorization is z plus 5 by 4 into z minus 1 by 4 you need uh, you can directly give it to the calculator and find the roots and you need not take the inverse because we are doing the manipulation in z domain so the poles are z is equal to minus 5 by 4 and z is equal to 1 by 4 how do i get this is substitute the denominator to be equal to 0 so z is equal to minus 5 by 4 and 1 by 4 now minus 5 by 4 is minus 1.25 right so that means this if this is a unit circle right with radius 1 my pole is this po pole is present outside the unit circle that is 1.25 so the very condition of all the poles being inside the unit circle is violated so this system is not causal uh, i mean not both causal and stable that means it is non causal and unstable non causal and unstable now if uh, this was given in z domain it is better to keep everything in z domain when you are uh, given with the uh, finding the poles and zeros as we have done in the problems under z transform so every uh, if you want to find the poles keep everything in terms of z domain and substitute the denominator to be is equal to zero i'll be will be getting the poles so this is bo both non-causal and unstable now in this problem you are uh, given with the uh, fraction which is the transfer function in z inverse domain so convert in order to find the poles convert everything in z domain so multiply the numerator and denominator by z square so i will be getting h of z as z square plus 2z right divided by z square plus 14 by 8z plus 49 by 64 so if i 2z if i factorize the denominator i will be getting it is uh, z plus 7 by 8 whole square now the poles are z plus 7 by 8 whole square is equal to 0 so z is equal to minus 7 by 8 that means we have two poles lying at minus 7 by 8 two poles because pres because of the presence of square now minus 7 by 8 is less than 1 right so minus 7 by 8 um, oh, sorry minus 7 by 8 will be somewhere here which will be less than uh, 1 I mean minus 1 in this case so uh, the all the poles lie inside the unit circle that condition is satisfied hence my system is both stable and causal causal and stable now in this problem uh, you have not been asked to find whether the system is stable and causal it is asked individually so what you what you are asked to do here is you need to find h of n if the system is stable 
that is the first condition second if the system is causal now in order to find h of n i need to factorize this uh, and uh, by using a partial fraction i need to uh, solve so if i find out the roots of this i will be getting the roots as 2 and uh, 1 by 3 right 2 and 1 by 3 so since i am doing the manipulation in z inverse so it will be 1 minus half z inverse into 1 minus 3 z inverse right so this is the uh, these are the values uh, i mean two roots you get if you have any doubt you multiply these two and you'll get get back the same denominator now if i do the partial fraction i've done so many problems on partial fraction so i'll not be doing it i'll be directly writing the answer here it is 1 by 1 minus half z inverse plus 2 by 1 minus 3 z inverse i hope uh, the partial fraction fraction method is uh, pretty simple it is a by uh, this factor plus b by 1 minus 3 z inverse then we have uh, the we will get an equation substitute for the value of z inverse then you get two fractions like this the partial fractions now the first case is if the system is stable if the system is stable what is the condition on h of n uh, we have already discussed so h, h of n must be absolutely summable that means the roc must include the unit circle right the roc must include the unit circle so the what should be the roc roc should be between half and between three right so this is a necessary and sufficient condition for a system to be stable right that means it roc should contain unit circle so by taking this roc into consideration if we take the inverse z transform i will be getting h of n so you are asked to find h of n when the system is stable so h of n is see for half it is a right sided sequence for 3 it is a left sided sequence so for for a right sided sequence it is half power n u of n and for a left sided sequence it, sequence it is minus 3 power n u of minus n minus 1 and you have a multiplying factor 2 here so it will be minus 2 into 3 power n 2 into 3 power n u of minus n minus 1 now for the second case for the system to be st causal our roc should be outside the outermost pole right so for a causal system roc must be outside the outermost pole now which is the outermost pole it is 3 so magnitude of z must be greater than 3 see causal system means uh, h of n should be 0 for n less than 0 that means it will be a right sided sequence and for a right sided sequence roc is outside the outermost pole so magnitude of z greater than 3 that means h of n will be half power n u of n plus 2 into 3 power n u of n so this is the value of impulse response when the condition is given as the system is causal causal always remember causal means h of n is 0 for n less than 0 that means it is a right sided sequence and we know that for a right sided sequence roc is outside the outermost pole so since it is a right sided sequence you will get u of n terms now here uh, what was the difference is for a system to be stable roc should contain unit circle now what is the roc here you will get two terms right so this is one uh, one by one minus alpha kind so here i will be getting one roc is magnitude of half z inverse should be less than one that means magnitude of z greater than half and this must this will be magnitude of three z inverse is less than one that means 
it is z is magnitude of z is less than 3 right so if it has to uh, if the roc should contain unit circle the roc must be between half and 3 those are the poles of this function h of z so if and only if the roc is this my system will be stable otherwise it will be unstable so in the previous cases we have just checked whether the system is stable and causal but here given h of z we are asked to find h of n by giving individual uh, conditions on stability and causality i hope um, uh, this concept is pretty much clear thank you for watching